Hello, I'm Tan the Tan BOTC channel. Uh, I just want to let you know I got some more books that I'm going to be reading. They're mostly from the library, my local library, so they're I haven't bought them or anything. But I'm going to be reading some books for the channel. I also might be reading off the side just to myself, but it, let me know if you know anything about these or if you want to. Uh, have them read for the channel yourself if you enjoy these but let's get into the books that i will be reading for the channel so i have a friend another youtuber capped miner 639 i was i'm not good with with like remembering numbers to the end of somebody's uh name or profile so i kind of suck at that sometimes so forgive me if i do <laughs> but i'm i want to read i kind of wanted the books you know, just words and all, but these are the graphic novels. I have Five Nights at Freddy's, Silver Eyes, Twisted Ones, and Fourth Closet with me. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will be reading the graphic novel versions for the channel, so look forward to that. And then the books that I'm not sure about, I don't know anything about them. Their covers caught my eye, as well as their ideas. So there's Blue Period and Children of the Whales. These are two mangas I've never heard of. I might have heard of Children of the Whales, but I still know very little about both of these, if anything at all. So what it says on period, the blue period says, Yatora is the perfect high school student with good grades and lots of friends. It's an effortless performance and ultimately a dull one, but he wanders into the art room one day and a lone painting captures his eye. Awakening him to a kind of beauty he never knew. Compelled and consumed, he dives in headfirst, and he's about to learn how savage and unforgiving art can be. And then for Children of the Whales, we got an endless sea of sand drifts the, the mud whale, a floating island city of clay and magic. In its chambers, a small community clings to survival, cut off from its own history by the shadows of the past. Chikoro is the mm, archivist for the ugh, for the mud whale, diligently chronicling the lives, lives and deaths of his people. As one of the short-lived Thymia wielders, he knows his time is limited and is determined to leave a better record than his predecessors. But the steady pace of their isolated existence on the mud whale is absurdly shattered when a scouting party discovers a mysterious young girl who seems to know more about their home than they do. So I really liked the art style on the the uh, covers. But we'll see how the... I'll probably read these for the channel if you guys want. I don't know what voices to do. And you know I'm not good with female voices. So that's going to be a problem with me. It's probably going to sound like a Monty Python episode. <laughs> you know. Give him some spam. <laughs> you know then. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> God damn it. That should make me laugh as hard as it did. Uh, but yeah. I picked those up at my local library. Uh, I'm trying to read more manga and watch more anime to get myself uh, more um, invested in that stuff, to be more knowledgeable in that stuff, as well as to uh, expand my horizons of that stuff. Because I've only watched so few animes. My favorite uh, anime is, of course, you always hear it, Full Metal Art and Alchemist. Um, I used to pronounce it Archimist, because I'm a dumbass. I don't know why. <laughs> I was a dumb kid then. But uh, Full Metal Alchemist was such a freaking nostalgic series for me, and I still absolutely love it. There's so many great like stories and episodes that came with it over time, and I love the characters. They're just so unique and stand out to me. There's just something magical about that that series to me and i still i still love it um and then there's i think my second favorite anime is uh death note like i never saw death note until this was a couple of years ago until uh i 
purchase a subscription to Netflix or no, I think I was sharing Netflix with a friend and uh, God, I was like, I gotta watch Death Note. So I watched the sub version first and I watched the dub and I, I freaking laugh at the dub with the, I take a chip and I eat it. You know, moments like that is freaking ridiculous, but I love it. And I really love the story. It was, it's, you know how like Batman as a detective, like the world's greatest detective against the Joker, their dynamic is always like really interestingly written. And there's so many things you can do with the Joker because the Joker is this mysterious character that you can do so much different, so many different uh, things with. There is bad writing as well with the joker like dragon tattoo joker and jared leto all that crap uh like performance wise and just like bleh, you know but uh there's also really good stuff that comes with the joker and batman like i love batman's one of my favorite superheroes and the joker is one of my favorite supervillains when i watched death note it reminded me of that dynamic of the world's greatest detective versus the world's greatest villain and i loved seeing the chat kind of um psychological uh verbal and such chess battle mind battle they had with one another and how one gets uh the upper hand on the other over uh, different situations just how smartly written it is uh, at least 27 episodes in and then gary Stu takes over in the episodes kind of the i like the manga better because it goes more into the uh, shin megami and such in their world but yeah pissed me off with those like <laughs> when it comes to the anime's last couple episodes um not that they're absolutely horrible they just ha when it comes to that freaking kid that's like the younger um is it l or d i can't remember d i can't remember uh but yeah um you can tell i kind of haven't watched it in a bit but god damn such a good such a good anime and then like demon slayer is moving up there and my hero academia freaking love the art of that those because they're so beautiful and colorful so well animated and i love the characters the dynamics the story just everything this is really cool and i have some favorite characters that come out of both uh series and i absolutely love them uh and of course i used to watch dragon ball uh i got out of dragon ball for a while but i'm trying to get back into it again and i do love dragon ball i loved that recent movie a matter of fact and uh, I'm glad I saw it. There are a lot of other series I'm trying to get into. Once again, like, you know, the, the frickin' One Piece, which is going to take for freaking ever. And Naruto, which is just adding to forever. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying to catch up on a lot of things. Um, my friend recommended some stuff. He's a big fan of Ultraman, so he recommended... Uh, Gridman, I watched part of that uh, first anime. I can't remember the entire name of that one, but I think there's actually a couple of Gridman series. But I'm watching the first one first, whichever was came out first. But yeah, I love the art style of that too, and it's really fun. Reminds me, of course, of the Ultraman shows. Uh, my friend wants me to watch Ultraman 2 on the freaking uh, on Tubi. A lot of those series and movies and stuff, which is going to take forever as well. <laughs> I watched some of them, but not all of them. And then, goddamn, there's a lot. Um, but yeah, I've watched a good amount. Uh, I'm a bigger Godzilla fan when it came to growing up because I used to have a VCR sets of God's older Godzilla movies and stuff. Absolutely love Godzilla. Um, sadly, I don't have those sets, but I, you saw in my DVD collection at least some of them. Because of that wasn't all of my DVDs. I had some more stored away that I just didn't feel like getting out at the time. Those were what I could at, at that point. But uh, I do have a bunch of Godzilla films. And uh, I can watch a bunch of them, or most of them, on Tubi anyways. Which is great. But I do plan on getting them in the future just to own physically. But yeah, I love Godzilla. Freaking Godzilla is freaking awesome. And I can't wait to play some... Uh, I have the 2014 Godzilla game I can play for the channel. And then there's, of course, uh, what is the other one? Godzilla. The Godzilla and uh, uh, 
Giga Bash, Giga Bash. Sorry. Along with Ultraman in that. And I would love to see like a comic book collaboration between Ultraman and Godzilla. They got close because they did use a similar costume for a monster, the, the, the same costume for a monster in one of their series, uh, which I got to watch. But other than that, like I want to legit see like Godzilla versus um, Ultraman. That would be awesome. Like if it was Shin Ultraman versus Shin Godzilla, or it was like. Kind of what they're doing with Godzilla now versus uh, Ultraman. That would be awesome. But yeah, I would love to see that one day. That would be epic. But anyways, uh, there's still books to be read. I have plenty of content. Like, there's no limit to the amount of books I have to read. I am a little overwhelmed, but still, I can make them work. And then I gotta sort out videos and the playlists and stuff, which is gonna be a pain in the ass, especially at this point. Which might take a while, so I'm sorry if the channel is disorganized for a while. <laughs> so, yeah. That's all I want to let you know, and I will see you guys in a live stream or so. I'm on a live stream today. So, have fun, and I hope you got something interesting out of this video. Sorry if it's just a stationary... Uh, image of just Fortnite with the music and then you know whatever characters in the background but yeah i hope you enjoyed nonetheless to get something interesting from my video these are kind of just more audio focused videos anyways where it's more something me, me discussing but i should have something playing in the background that's more fun and exciting for those who, who come here to watch stuff but once again i hope you found something interesting nonetheless and i will see you guys next time like share and subscribe leave your comments below if you did enjoy and i will see you on the next uh, video and or live stream bye bye <laughs>